So how do you deal with somebody that is a difficult person, someone that is always angry and aggressive and is always gaslighting, always projecting, always just causing a bunch of drama, chaos, and havoc in your life? What can you do? Let me tell you something. One thing that I will say is do not take it personal, okay? And I know this is going to be a little difficult because sometimes they can make it personal. They can say personal things about you to make it so personal. But listen, also, I recommend reading this book. It's called The Four Agreements, okay? It's called The Four Agreements. It's an amazing book. I read that book twice. It's phenomenal. And one of the agreements is to do not take anything personal. And what they were saying in this book was how what people do is a reflection of their own internal battles dealing with within themselves and it has nothing to do with the other person when people need when people are dealing with their own chaos internally they need an outlet they need to release that energy and not everybody knows how to handle their emotions in a healthy way where other people are not being hurt because they are hurt you know what i'm saying so what happens is that they think that the best way to do this is to just throw it on somebody else and make somebody else feel bad so that I don't have to feel bad by myself. That's what they think. They think that is the best way to go about it because they do not know any, any better option. They don't know a healthier option. So at that point, that person is ignorant to a healthy outcome, a healthy coping mechanism. Ignorance is bliss. When a person is ignorant and they lack the knowledge, they literally just do not know. They don't know any better. So at that point, when you look at a child, like you kind of have to handle these people like you would a child. This is how you overstand. This is how you shift your consciousness and see them in a state of not that as if you're better than them, but you realize that you are at a higher level of emotional maturity than where they are. So you have to handle them in a different way. You have to see it in a different way. This is really just a child that's just throwing a tantrum. And when a child throws a tantrum, do you take it personal? Or you just be like, okay, that child's just throwing a tantrum. They'll get over it. I'm not going to allow this energy to affect mine. You can't let the energy affect you. And listen, I know that is so easier said than done. And it's a practice you have to take every single time. But when you tell yourself in your mind, this person is hurt. This person just doing whatever they can to feel better. It has nothing to do with me, but everything's to do with them. You learn to, one, give people grace and empathize with them, but also don't take their bullshit at the same time. You don't have to put up with it, but don't take it personal.